All right. So a couple weeks ago, I posted a video showing what I consider to be the meta build for Tarkov right now. It's the lowest cost build required to get the most performance. And if you're contemplating an upgrade and wondering whether to prioritize upgrading the CPU or the GPU, let me show you why upgrading the CPU should be your top priority if you're a Tarkov player. So this is my 5700 XT. It's a graphics card that can be found for around $150 in the used market. I managed to snag mine for just $85 during an AliExpress super sale. In this test, I've substituted the $525 6950 XT from my 2024 meta build with the 5700 XT. The base components remain the same. 7800 X3D, B650M, 2TB NVMe, and an 80 plus gold rated 850W PSU. I think this video will be useful for those of you looking to upgrade and maybe you're on an older GPU wondering, should I upgrade the CPU first or the GPU first? My answer is upgrade the CPU first 100% of the time if you're a Tarkov player. With a good CPU, Tarkov can run pretty well on almost any GPU and you can kind of fiddle with the settings enough that you can get good performance. So for the 5700 XT here, I've lowered the graphics settings down to medium textures. I've turned off all the other graphic settings like HBAO, SSR, anisotropic filtering is even off, sharpening is off. but as you can see, the image still looks very crisp and clear. The reason for that is I've enabled Radeon image sharpening in AMD Adrenaline. This adds sharpening at a hardware level and it doesn't impact the performance the same way it would by changing in-game settings. Also, you can see that the colors look pretty vibrant compared to stock Tarkov colors. I've increased the color saturation in AMD Adrenaline as well. And that's why the colors look a little more vibrant than normal. With the NVIDIA cards, you can do this in the control panel using digital vibrance. In general, I prefer to use the graphics card control panels, whether it's AMD or NVIDIA, to handle image sharpening, AA, and color balance. So while I think the 6950 XT, the 7800 XT, the 4070, 3080, you know, any pretty much $450 to $550 card will get you max performance in Tarkov. You can still get amazing performance at a slight visual cost, very slight because FSR and DLSS, I think in this game are implemented very well. And with the right settings, it's not that much worse than native. Obviously native is gonna look a little bit crisper. I'm here to demonstrate that you can achieve comparable performance to a top tier GPU for Tarkov like the 6950 XT at around 90% of the visual quality for a fraction of the cost with a GPU price between $100 to $200 you can save significantly without sacrificing too much in terms of the gaming experience overall. Or maybe you just don't want to break the bank on new upgrades and maybe just want to upgrade one component at a time. I think this video shows that a good CPU will take you a long way in this title. So that's what I wanted to show you in this one. I hope it was helpful, informative, or entertaining in some way. I'm incredibly grateful for every single view, like, or comment on my videos. Each one is a small step toward my dream of doing this full time. And maybe there's a million steps ahead of me, but each one counts for me. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. I'm humbled by the support you guys have shown me, and it means the world to me. So thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.
Нехороший вы, блядь, человек.
Ништяк, пацаны, сегодня мы кайфуем.